Hello again, YouTubers. I'm SpongeBob101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with another SpongeBob episode review. In this video, we are reviewing episode 270 Goofy Scoopers and Pat the Dog. The synopsis states SpongeBob and Patrick make it their mission to reunite the recently fired robot band from Goofy Goobers. Also, Patrick is sent to the pound for acting like a worm, but he won't be able to leave unless Spongebob can train him. So without further ado, let's get into the first portion of this video, reviewing Goofy Scoopers. The main plot of the Goofy Scoopers actually is pretty simple, but I enjoy the way in which the writers expound on the topic. We begin at the Goofy Goobers, of course. The Goofy Scoopers is a band of three performing robots. They consist of, or the band consists of Clem Clem, Bongo's Bear, and Rock T. Puss. And Spongebob and Patrick love their performances. Unfortunately, it is closing time, so they have to be kicked out of the Goofy Goobers. Patrick wants to get an autograph and Spongebob wants to watch the performance again, you know, so they are super stoked about it. They camp out in these really cool peanut pajama sleeping bag outfits. They eventually come to the realization that the Goofy Scoopers is no more, all right? So the manager of the Goofy Goopers has replaced them with DJ Two Scoops, this random DJ with his beats and stuff so yeah spongebob and patrick decide that they want to go and locate the goofy scoopers bring the band back together and have a reunion performance of sorts of course that only happens after they finish crying in which there's this really funny part where patrick flushes the tears out of his eyes into his mouth and out of his mouth so there's also this part where patrick just patrick's head just follows spongebob as spongebob uh trashes out his plan while walking around the perimeter of the screen essentially and their plan is to steal the garbage truck they steal the garbage truck successfully and reach and crash into the dump where they are then confronted with this dude again who we've seen before and we even have a cameo of the garbage clone of patrick there so if you guys remember that episode that was a horrible one but anyways they head over to the circus to locate the first of the three Goofy Scooper members, and that would be Clam Clam. Of course, Clam Clam voluntarily agrees to the begging of SpongeBob and Patrick because he is really freaked out by the clowns at the circus. So anyways, the next stop is the massage parlor where Bongo's bear um, refuses to acknowledge that he likes music but eventually he does so yeah he decides to take spongebob and patrick up on their offer as well the final character rock t puss is i don't even know how why they decided to do this to him but you see this bridge here rock t puss eventually becomes uh um something to hold the bridge together which is kind of strange because if a bridge can't even hold itself together and you need an extra robot to hold it together that is not a safe bridge by any stretch of the imagination <laughs> but yeah he refuses to join spongebob and patrick on their quest unfortunately so later that night the i don't even know how spongebob and patrick managed to get the permission of the manager to host this concert there uh maybe they just decided to crash the goofy goobers and you know put up that stage on the top of it but yeah unfortunately rock Puss doesn't show up so patrick decides that he is gonna get the remaining goofy scooper members to play his crazy song which he just made up and <laughs> this section i thought was really hilarious it was kind of painful on the ears but basically spongebob and patrick and the two Goofy Scooper members were performing a, a rock song, right? And it was really funny just to watch it, but not to hear it. It was terrible. And it seems like the kids at the Goofy Goobers watching the performance agree with me because they, just start, they started pouting them with tomatoes. This stops when Rock T. Bruce shows up. Whoa! And asked what happened to the bridge. Well, what do you think happened to the bridge? <laughs> it... it well, boats began just dropping right into the trench. And I do have to point out one thing. Apparently, this bridge is supposed to be one to Shell City. But I have trouble believing that this trench is the one that we have we had in the SpongeBob movie. Because obviously, this is not the, the graveyard kind of area. So yeah, I'm not sure where this bridge would be. But still, uh, it's kind of sad that the bridge ended up like that. I don't even know how you can have a bridge like that unfortunately the performance doesn't go well but this is when dj two scoops shows up he 
says that he's a huge fan of the Goofy Scoopers as well and joins their band in a way. And so the episode basically ends with a rave at the Goofy Goobers and everybody's partying. And yeah, I think it's a really nice ending to the episode. And the band got back together. And yeah, even a manager was dancing it out. So hopefully the Goofy Scoopers will be a permanent fixture at the Goofy Goobers. This episode, I will have to give it a 8 out of 10. Really enjoy the plot generally. I didn't have too many hopes for this episode, but I'm really glad at how the episode turned out in the end. And of course, yeah, so SpongeBob, Patrick, everybody, even the clown uh, is partying at the Goofy Goobers. So yeah, really nice reunion. Moving on to Pat the Dog. Now, unlike Goofy Scoopers, which premiered in February 2022, this one actually premiered in July 2021. So quite a huge gap. But nonetheless, this episode begins at the animal shelter where Squidward gives Marvin, the animal shelter guy, an angry call reporting a, well, stray dog or worm. And this dog or worm turns out to be Patrick who had eaten some worm food and temporarily became a worm so yeah Spongebob uh, takes up the challenge of having to train Patrick and uh, this doesn't go really well right so uh, there's this part where Patrick starts rolling around Bikini Bottom going into the subway which is cool to see by the way and yeah so Spongebob sends Patrick into the backyard of the pound which is where all the classy worms are hanging out and one hour later Spongebob comes back with what seems to be a kelp shake from long ago but it's gooey it's greener than normal I, I gotta say but the bottle kelp shake Patrick turned the uh, backyard into a worm raceway which was pretty funny but uh, this was the last straw for Marvin who well eventually agreed to Spongebob to to allow Spongebob to adopt Patrick. This brings a whole bunch of problems to Spongebob's house. Um, you know, as Patrick totally ruins the house to the dismay of Gary and Spongebob. And unfortunately, Patrick barks all night, annoying not just Squidward, but Spongebob and Gary themselves. So, Sp so Spongebob begs Squidward to train Patrick on his behalf, and Squidward does take that, that offer or... Well, I mean, he does agree to do it, right? And this portion of the, of the episode, I think, is, uh, well, funny in the sense that basically Pat Squidward was so pissed off at Patrick that he decided to dump Patrick out into the kelp forest. And then um, when he returns, Patrick returns with, like, luggage stickers all over his body. And then we have that part where the shot collar is attached to Patrick's neck. Unlike the tickle belt in season two, uh, that was used on Man Ray. This collar, uh, although it's, I believe, presumably Squidward imagined the shock collar to shock Patrick every time he pressed a button. Turns out, no. It shocks the person who touches the outside of the collar, which in this case was Squidward, which is pretty funny, I gotta say. But again, you know, Squidward always gets destroyed in many cases, so I'm not surprised. And this is when Squidward, again, really pissed off. He brings Patrick out to the kelp forest in a cage, cuts off, cuts the rope, and goes home. Only to find Patrick jumping out of the door and capturing Squidward, taking him out of the kelp forest, and dumping Squidward there. So, well, a way to, that's a way to turn the tables, I gotta say. So Squidward returns to his home to find his own boatmobile crash into his house. And this is when Marvin shows up. So Marvin says that Squidward has been successful at training Patrick. Uh, Patrick puts on a show there, even acting like a chicken, <laughs> right? And um, yeah, so Squidward is pretty pleased. Although, uh, you know, it didn't seem like Patrick was being trained after all. But this is when Marvin decides to leave Butcher, the scary worm that was locked up in a huge cage in the pound. Uh, to Squidward for Squidward to quote-unquote train him as well and this doesn't go very well <laughs> unfortunately all right so yeah basically instead of Squidward training the worm the worm trains Squidward to walk like a dog and this episode I had to give it a 6 out of 10 I didn't really like this episode but I really can't say it's a super bad episode either so yeah there's a whole bunch of references of course the chicken uh the sea bear 
on the sign of the kelp forest I, just off the top of my head here and yeah even the raceway you know the snail race a uh, great snail race kind of reminds me of that although it's not really exactly the same all right so yeah uh, that was pat the dog comment box below what you guys thought of these two episodes and make sure to subscribe like favorite comment etc keep right here on almond sponge 101 more episode reviews to come so till next one see you guys later bye <laughs>